Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today we're working inside of a pre-release version of Photo Raw 2026. What that means is some of the things may not work exactly as I show you, but it's to give you a good idea of what is to come with the software. Now, if you'd like to pick up a pre-order and save a little bit of money of Photo Raw 2026, consider using the coupon code FREEWILL10. It's down in the description box, as well as an affiliate link where I do make a small commission from everyone who purchases through that link, but you get to save some money at the same time. So it's a win-win. Great way of supporting this channel. Let's go ahead and jump into the computer and take a look at the depth lighting effect. So here we are inside of Photo Raw 2026, and I'm already on the effects tab. So what I'm going to do is click add filter, and then we'll come over here to depth lighting. Now, depth lighting, the way that it works is pretty straightforward. It's going to allow you to select the foreground and the background and relight the subject or relight the entire image. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some preliminary uh, I guess settings or adjustments on here, which is I'm going to darken the foreground because I want to make the background a little bit brighter. So I'm going to bring that down negative 13 for now. We'll play around with it later and pull this up to about 19. So if I turn this off and on, you can see how it's shaping the light. This area is pretty dark right now. And then when I turn it on, you can see it gets brighter and that's actually going opposite of what I actually did here. So what we need to do is come down to the depth field. And if you hold down the option key and then you click and drag, you start to see how that depth is actually being applied. Now, anything that's white is going to be selected for your foreground and anything that's black is going to be selected for your background. So what I'm going to do is just pull this all the way up until I start to see the sky kind of get selected there. So if I go all the way, and when I say the sky, I want you to look right here in this area. So as I pull this down, you can see that it's mostly black. And then as I pull this up, that little area that I point it to, you can see it starts to get white. So I'm gonna back that off just a bit there. And that's gonna give me a nice even fade. So if I turn this off and turn it back on, you can see I'm really only focusing on brightening up this one area that's you know further back here. And then of course you have your transition. And the way that I like to think of the transition is this is kind of like a feather slider, all right? You don't always need to use this, but a little bit of transition never hurts, all right? So now what I can do is come back to my foreground and start to play around with how dark I want that to get. And if I really want to focus in on the background there and make that the brightest point, well, I can pull this foreground down pretty far. Every image is going to have more or less flexibility based on how you shot it. So just keep that in mind. But the idea here is how quickly you can start to reshape the light in your image, just using the depth masks inside of On One Photo Raw. Now, you could stop there, but we also have access to some temperature sliders here. So I'm going to go ahead and make that background a little bit warmer by pulling to the right on the background slider here. And you can see how that's just bringing in a little bit more warmth into that background area. And then, of course, if I wanted to balance this out a little bit further, I could pull the foreground warmth up as well. So that way it all kind of meshes well together. Every image is going to need some different level of adjustment. So just take this more as an idea or a concept of what you can apply to your images and how this tool is going to help us with developing the light and the uh, temperature in the foregrounds and the backgrounds of our images. So 
Let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, so here we are with a photo of a dog and I already have the depth lighting effect applied. So all we have to do is establish this effect. So again, what I like to do is I, in this particular image, I wanna darken the background and then brighten the foreground. So let's just go ahead and pull the background down and bring the foreground up. Now, obviously I don't really want the dog to get that effect. So let's take a look at where this depth is. I'm gonna hold down option and just start clicking and dragging. And obviously the more the dog is white, the more the dog is going to be a part of the foreground. And the more the dog is black, the more the dog is gonna be part of the background. So you really get to choose how far this goes. And I think this is about appropriate for this particular photo. So I'll let that go. And then I can bring the foreground up pretty high and you can see how that's impacting the brightness on the dog. And then of course the background can come down. Again, I can increase the color temperature in the background. So if I want this to be a little bit warmer in the background, I can just pull up that warmth slider and you can see how that starts to impact the photo. So if I turn this off and I turn it back on, you can really see how easy it is to just start shaping the light and the temperature in all sorts of images. So that's just a quick concept of how you can use depth lighting on your images. Hopefully this is getting the wheels turning for those of you who have pre-ordered on one photo raw 2026 and look forward to using this tool. Now, of course, if you want to pre-order on one photo raw 2026 and save a little bit of money, consider using coupon code free will 10. It'll save you some money at checkout. I do make a small commission, but it's a win-win and it's a great way of supporting this channel. I greatly appreciate everyone who does that. If you have questions, leave it in the comment section below. And until the next time, stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.